Excuse me, are you the commander of the Nexus? Commander Ryder reporting in. I heard there was news about my father. Yes, your goddamn father's dead. You're the new Pathfinder. Sorry, my face is tired. You done fucked it up! Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so welcome to the Mass Effect Andromeda Vlog Review. I'll explain why. <laughs> so I put in uh, for a custom order for some costumes so that we could do go big. Because you know me, uh, Mass Effect is one of my favorite franchises of all time. Unfortunately, we were told one date and now it is extended another month and a half before we get the costume. So I just decided just to cancel the order. So uh, kind of <laughs> <laughs> it kind of screwed everything up. Uh, I got to So I think um, in the future, uh, maybe I might not go so big with the costumes because it screwed up with Power Rangers and now it's screwed up with Mass Effect. So I'm going to try something new just real quick, just because I had everybody here today. We were ready to film. Um, and we were going to just talk to you about the Mass Effect Andromeda review and what we thought. Um, you know, I want to start off by saying um, that Mass Effect Andromeda is not a bad game. No. It's not, not a at all. Game. No, no way. You cannot classify it as a bad game. No, you can't. Uh, it's not a four. It's not a two. It's not a one. Okay, and this isn't a fucking Metacritic where you're you're having a protest vote. But I but I, I need to say this. It is an incredible disappointment for fans like me. It's a disappointment, and uh, I think that. You know, the animations in particular <laughs> make everybody look <laughs> you can see. <laughs> pretty good, actually. Right? Freaking yeah. crazy. That's next gen right there. <laughs> That's the next Google level. I, I can't see shit. <laughs> don't, don't take them off. Take them off. It's but, the next level. Okay, so let's talk We're about <laughs> what does Mass Effect <laughs> what does Mass Effect for or Mass Effect Andromeda do well? It's combat. Yes, oh yeah, without a doubt. The fighting. Easily, Absolutely amazing combat. It's the best iteration is of it. it. Now, that doesn't mean the AI is good. Unless you're playing on insane difficulty like like Dell. Uh, if you're on normal, insane. hard, or any other difficulty, they're fucking stupid. Uh, it's, it's hilarious how dumb they are. Not over yet. I need to get through that door. Dad, watch my <laughs> line of fire! God damn it! <laughs> this guy does not give a shit <laughs> fucking about AI. cover. <laughs> Cover? What the fuck is that? I ain't going to bed. I don't need no covers. <laughs> <laughs> but because of the sheer numbers of enemies that they can throw at you and their shields and their armor, it can get challenging. Some of those remnant uh, executioners, the destroyers, crawlers, destroyers could get pretty challenging. Yep. So that's what they got right. What else did they get right? The planet exploration was really good. Just planet exploration. Huh? There's there's <laughs> at least six different planets that you could go planet side. You're driving around in your nomad. And this is what I wanted way back since Mass Effect 1. Mm, yeah. You know, and Mass Effect 1 does no does not compare to this in terms of planetary exploration. A lot more. Mining with your with your nomad, it actually feels like you're an explorer. Yep. Um, another thing it does well is the crafting. If you're a big fan of you know, crafting new weapons or getting different looking armor yep. sets, you're going to like it here. Now, the interface, granted, the interface is completely fucked for it. It is a jumbled mess. It is a confusing mess initially. But once you understand it and once you get over it, I wish there was a better tutorial for it, then, then it's, it makes a little more sense. Uh, it, so, you know, the crafting... The planetary exploration and the combat. What else? Um, the visuals. 
Yeah, Beja was the good. The games was absolutely beautiful in some places on Ultra. Like, yeah. Havarl specifically blew my mind when I got to Havarl the Jungle Planet. Yeah. On Ultra with the rain. They even modeled the raindrops out on the armor. Yeah. There's like, there's a large variety uh, uh, in the game, no yep. doubt. Uh, now let's talk about what Mass Effect Andromeda does poorly. Uh, the, the main script. plot. The script, yes. The delivery. The delivery of the <laughs> yes. lines is almost it's childish at times. What are you doing? <laughs> I, t I told you get over here. I think I really pissed that one off. Maybe because I shot him in the face. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> That's not, it's not that funny, but, but we're laughing with the fuck. <laughs> Just, you know, your fucking father dies, spoilers, but it's in the first beginning <laughs> of the game, and this is how the commander reacts. To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. Goddamn moment, dad. It saved my life. <laughs> Sorry, my face but is tired. I can't show emotion. For me to get <laughs> <laughs> I like even your own, even your own character writer reacts unrealistically to Just your father. Just as bad. Dying. No, he's like, he's like, oh, he's dead, and you're like, yeah, with a with an awkward smile. But he's he's like a drunk. <laughs> what is wrong with my face? He looks like, like a drunk. Now. The bridge. Our pilot Crank. everything good to go. Crank is a hell of a drunk. <laughs> it's really gonna be something now, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> Kyle, but only to be fair, on. to uh -huh. be fair, it's worse with Sarah Ryder than it is. Is male. it? I think you're cute and I like seeing you up here. Oh my goodness, Ryder. Also, the accent. The accent is, I mean, it's not the only thing, but, uh, okay, I should just go over there to the piloting thing. Kill me now. I oh. play See, as the male. I've you play as the female. I've it's heard actually Sarah worse. Dialogue Dude, it worse. can't be. The male's dialogue is so awful. It's, it's also not just her dialogue. Her facial animations mm -hmm. are far. Yeah, way I more know they patched it eventually to try to yeah. cover it up there a little. Way bit. more inappropriate with her than. Male but me writer. and Joe were getting so frustrated with the dialogue wheel. It's got massive Fallout Four syndrome, yep. as you yeah. were saying before, where you want to say something, you want to go renegade, or you even want to be a really good good guy and say some smart, clever things. When it looks like it's going to be clever, what he says is fucking stupid. I was like, that's yep. not what I meant at all. <laughs> it's the opposite of what we wanted to say. I just wish they would have fixed the dialogue. It's like, tired. that's not the way I wanted to this say it. This is either the cat or the scourge really left a mark. I'm Callow, so tired of picking okay. an option, and he doesn't so say the fucking out. option exactly. that I pick. I don't feel connected to my character. I don't feel like he's me talking. I feel like he's some fucking generic shitty character writer who nobody likes or cares about god i i miss shepherd so much <laughs> i'll even take half a shepherd goes out to you shepherd this guy is a fourth <laughs> of shepherd so i gotta bring something up yeah um you know the game the the lack of what it looked like quality assurance testing mm -hmm. qa in this game was more than obvious because oh, yes. every hour you would encounter a graphical glitch. <laughs> we had yeah. a whole bunch there of those. Was yeah, so we like, did. Um, God oh, damn push it. him off! Push ah, him off! Push him! Oh, I want oh you don't have any charge. What the fuck? Oh, no. Is he dead? I, need to decipher the language. I don't know. Joe, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> he could be frozen. He's frozen. He can still live. <laughs> That's it, you know. The graphics are pretty fucking good. That close on the character model looking good. I'm about to fall off the fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> I, one of my companions permanently died. 
I was on a planet. She got eaten by an auto kill execution. She was dead. PB was dead. Okay, she wouldn't come back to life. <laughs> and so I was running around. She was still dead. Like we were doing cutscenes like across the planet because I couldn't get her back. I couldn't swap her yeah. out or anything. We had we had a ton of glitches in the game when we were streaming. We were like, "What the hell was going on?" The game is glitchy and buggy. And you say you didn't run into any glitches, and you are a fucking liar, yeah. man. Give me oh, yeah. your copy. Give <laughs> us your copy because there uh, we ran into so many. It was hilarious. We're approaching the nav points Cora found. Something's there. What it the might fuck? be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't hurting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a talking chair. Chair. Hard to believe. Am I, <laughs> am I drunk? <laughs> Was that a talking chair? I, did I see that? Did I you saw see it that? Too. That's a talking chair. I, I, uh, this is my fourth beer. <laughs> That's my second I'm one. I'm not, not sure what drunk. just happened. I am not drunk. <laughs> I was like, is that chair talking to me? <laughs> In it fact, was. there's great videos out there. There's 20-minute so, long videos out there of all of these really funny fucking so glitches. So my bug escalated. So I had her dead, right? I was on a planet. She got eaten <laughs> by an auto-kill execution. She was dead. PB was dead, okay? She wouldn't come back to life. <laughs> and so I was running around. She was still dead. Like, we were doing cut scenes, like, across the planet because I couldn't get her back. I couldn't swap her yeah. out or anything. Uh -huh. And so we go, we go to start doing cut scenes. Whenever it, like, cut to her for her to talk, it would show an empty screen <laughs> and just have a ghost talking. And Ryder would talk to her. Do you have footage of that? So yes, I, I do there? have it. I have okay. footage of this. So not only that, then I was like, okay, fine. We finished <laughs> that. So a ghost was talking. Ryder was talking to nobody. It was fucking hilarious. Yeah. I was on a planet. She got eaten <laughs> by an auto-kill execution. She was dead. PB was dead. Okay, she wouldn't come back to life. <laughs> and so I was running around. She was still dead. Like, we were doing cut scenes, like, across the planet because I couldn't get her back. I couldn't swap her yeah. out or anything. Yeah. So I go to my ship, and the game thought that I was still in a squad. And so I had a Drac following me around on my ship, mm -hmm. and there were, like, seven other Dracs in my ship. So I was walking <laughs> around with Dracs, and Dracs Sweet! were talking to Dracs. Drac was my favorite. I want that. I want and a whole crow You had an amazing squad. There's no <laughs> bug there. <laughs> so I an will, improvement. I, I I will say, like, there was, like, glitches, bugs, especially when me and Joe were in the battle with your, when your dad is fighting with yep. you, and we're like, what the fuck is going on? Just glitch after glitch. It was just, it, it just felt like a buggy game. And for, you know, so the, the, there needs to be way more polish in this next one. You can't have this embarrassment again, because this is really disappointing performance from Bioware. Yeah. You have, you have, Bioware has a reputation of making really good shit. They're up there with Blizzard, where people love them and adore them and like their shit yep. no matter what, even if it's garbage. And maybe we're seeing a little bit of that here. And, and if you're putting out stuff like this that's going to degrade uh, that reputation, it's going to be bad for you. So hopefully EA is like, oh, shit. And Bioware is like, oh, shit. Okay, we have to compensate yep. because some of this stuff is hilarious. Now, I oh will yeah. say, I will say, like, this may be the Mass Effect that me and Joe laughed at the most. Oh, yeah. Like, Yes. And in that way, you can almost kind of have fun. Ten out of ten, then. Ten out of ten, <laughs> if you're just making fun of the game. Oh yeah. Because it's so easy to make fun of. So the easy. The memes, the memes that have come from the this game. The memes are, are so good in this game. Like where so you, you have to give it a little bit of credit on just the, the how much it makes you laugh, but it's all the wrong credit. <laughs> like yeah. uh, the Sarah Ryder scene where she turns her head all the way around, <laughs> 360 degrees. Yeah. Or the the pirate den where you go into and the lady's all <laughs> trying to get comfortable. <laughs> yes, she, yes. she continues to move and <laughs> focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. See? No reason we can't be civilized. See? No reason we can't be civilized. So, uh, uh, so you've got a plot that is uh, predictable, uh, boring at times, uh, painfully average with a main character, Ryder, who is supposed to be, uh, you know, Shepard's replacement, who does not in any way feel like you. You feel like you're, you're, you're not in the pilot seat. You're just oh. guiding this guy along and watching him do his thing instead of you being Ryder and picking how you want to go about this adventure. The other thing is it always, like, no matter what you do, it feels like the entire situation is a joke to him. Yeah. As a character, he's never serious the about anything. And that plays into to the writing. There's there's several options where there's two options and they're the same fucking option. 
it, it doesn't matter which way you yeah. say it, you're yeah. saying the same thing. I fucking hate that. At least give me the veneer of having a choice. An illusion and, of choice. An There's illusion of choice, right. Uh, so we, we really thought Ryder was a very weak character compared to Shepard. And I think that that's going to be a very problematic. I mean, they have put all chips in the Ryder basket. Yep. We're going to get a new trilogy with Ryder, and I'm not invested in him at all. So I, I have to mention, mm -hmm. too, um, they had a forty million dollar budget for this, yeah. and there are no big names. In yeah, the well, I, I'll tell you this: I don't think forty million dollars is a lot. When you tell me that, I don't go like everybody else. Oh my god, how do they fuck that up? I go, oh my god, how do they make this game? Like seriously, that's not a lot. I mean, considering how much Grand Theft Auto, uh, the Grand Theft Auto Five's budget, you know, something like five hundred million dollars, or, or is that how much they made? I don't know. It's like two hundred fifty million at least. I think it's two hundred fifty million at least their budget. And so I thought, damn, for that. I can understand the solid foundation that they laid here. It's just the animation system. Yep. They needed to go in and do motion capture for the most important scenes. Instead, what they had is they did this robotic, dynamic, uh, the, the logarithms and the systems create yeah. your reactions rather than it being uh, something that was Did not pan out. I, scripted. <laughs> I don't understand why they didn't go with the motion capture because even their like, games like SWOTOR, you know, an MMO that's just barely hanging on still there looks better, still yeah. is doing motion capture shit for animations yeah. and facial stuff. Yeah. And it's like, why didn't they just have people do idle animations yeah. and stand there? Just do 10 minutes of recording on a person's idle animations. Like I have a person like slouch around, fake having a data pad, things like that. And they didn't even put the effort into that. The threat, the cat. Uh, this cat is the main villain throughout the entire game. Uh, you're, you're not really getting anything bigger. There are There's something called the Remnant, which factors in, and I think they're saving that for future games. Uh, you know, number five and number six, Mass Effect. But because of that, it, it doesn't feel uh, like the cat are a real threat. Like, I it was like, oh, God. Hopefully the Keter is just a stepping stone to what, what they're hiding or the real threat yeah. that's out. And it never, it's not, okay? They're led by the Archon, and the Archon is who you're going to be fighting. And he's even more boring than your standard Ket soldier. I mean, he's about as, as interesting. And <laughs> what, you, what you think about the Angarians, where you think the Angarians come from, or, or who the Ket is, you're, you're gonna, you hit it right on the head, 100%. Uh, what do you think about the Angarians? Because they packed factor in such a huge role. This new race in an Andromeda galaxy. Yep. We're no longer in the Milky Way galaxy. We're in a completely different galaxy. And they give us the Angarians. Uh, yay or nay on Angarians? Well, considering you're only in a really small cluster and you're not in the full galaxy, mm -hmm. and they even talk about how there's like a lot more outside this cluster, mm -hmm. I mean... They could have gone way bigger with the initial race. Like you could have been talking to half robot, half spider. Yeah, quadrupods I think uh, something a little bit more creative. Like oh yeah, uh, we are in a brand new guy. Now I personally don't like the Angarians. I know a lot of my audience yep. does. They like the design, but to me the Angarians look like, hey boss, here's the uh, first uh, concept for it. You know, you, when you have concept artists that are talented, you get ten designs. <laughs> it's like they looked at the first one and they're like, yeah, well, that's the one I want. Let's go. They look Let's like Twilight they, they, from they, Star Wars. They just don't look very interesting to me. They yep. look poor. But, uh, you know, that's a very small point because that's that doesn't really factor in. Uh, they are, they all have they're all Australians or South Africans. They have those types of two different accents. It, it's funny because they all study. Uh, they all study at this place called Australia. Oh, that's something of a joke between me, journalists and everyone who went to school with us in Australia. In Australia. And it's spelled like E S T R. I it, see it, what you did there. It, it, no, but yeah, exactly. But <laughs> so anyway, so the Hungarians, you take them or leave them. You might like them. I, I, I don't. I think they're incredibly they're boring right. as well. It's, it's worth right. mentioning. They that, right. <laughs> and this is a da another downside it leads into. Is it worth, me or worth mentioning that a lot of their backstory and a lot of things that make them more interesting are in side quests? Mm -hmm. And that, you know, that makes them really hard to like unless you're actively going around doing all of I, their I extra I have done content. a lot of side quests, you know. I've, do, I've done a lot of, whole, you know, and, and I don't, I still didn't find them too interesting. But, yeah. you know, I, another thing that the game does really badly and it stumbles on is 
you know, we kind of laid out what we wanted in my Mass Effect 3 review, how we can improve certain systems, especially the space exploration. The space exploration in this game is annoyingly pointless. It is, it's downgraded. Yes, it looks beautiful. That's about the only thing I can say for it. It looks amazingly beautiful. But when you have to swoop in, yeah, zoom into the planet, in. and you get like a postcard view, and then it zooms back out, and then it zooms and then in. when you and then when you go back to the galaxy screen, and you want to go somewhere else. You, do you go over there? No, you go right back. You remember this thing? You like that thing? And then you and then you. It's just extremely pointless. It's as if they were smelling their own farts over there, and they're like, people are gonna love this. They're gonna love doing it hour one. They're gonna love doing it hour ten. They're gonna love doing it hour forty, like, where it takes ten minutes. Doing it's so, like, look, this is fun. It's like, exactly. all right, five minutes, ten minutes. I, you're like, all right, this I is agree kind completely of with it. I loved like, the little driving your fucking Normandy <laughs> on the map, and I was hoping that we would get space battles or space encounters or at least be able to drive and encounter something we've never seen before space whales i know one of the characters yep. one of the npcs even mentions a space whale i don't know if the space whales are those ones that you saw floating yeah, uh, they, they at, at, them, yeah. at uh at the jungle planet yep. but uh we never see that shit in space or we never see like crystalline entities just something different than this fucking galaxy because it's a brand new galaxy it's all generic Garbage. The writing team should be ashamed of themselves because what it, it pours on over into the characters. The loyalty missions is where they start to get interesting. Yep. But aside from that, that you don't really want to talk to anybody. You kind of force yourself to go on their loyalty missions, and then you realize, oh, okay, well that one was pretty cool, or that one was not so cool. Put it into perspective. I'd say about maybe like nine hours was main story and for the rest of the like 55 hours i played i was just running around killing people yeah that's that was time. enjoyable i, I, will I feel say like you do you get your money's worth here you, there's a lot of shit the romance do. options are crazy in this game <laughs> there there are really only two romance options it's like yeah. bioware saw witcher 3 and was like y'all can show titties we can show titties now Oh, we had show full-on ass cheeks and butt butt cheeks and <laughs> crevices and titties. That's well, let's throw that in. So really, see. Cora and uh, PB, you get full-on you know nudity there that I did not expect. You get expect. to see Jaws' butt. You and get to see Jaws. Ja and <laughs> Jaws is such a boring his, kid. His he gets better. Man boobies. He, what do you call those? I don't oh know yeah, you get to see his fucking skeleton. Yeah, Jaws. That his, scared his me. His old man it body. I was, was his old man what? body. I was frightened by Jaws' naked body. <laughs> it. What the? Oh. <laughs> that's weird. It's good. Oh. Ah, oh, what's wrong what with your that? fucking boobies? Ah, oh, your butt. Oh god. Okay. What is wrong with your booties, droopy butt? And damn woman was well, very scary. Uh. But yeah, so so the so the romance options. What did you think? Were you were you satisfied? I romanced Vetra. Okay. Vetra, why? <laughs> because she was interesting and ah, she cared she was a about standard me. Standard soldier. You All just right. wanted a female Garrus. That's what. That's it was. what it was. I, I wanted know. her to do my calibrations. I was considering that because I love Garrus so much. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, her story ended up great. Yeah, but um, see, what I'm saying is outside uh, Cora and PB, you don't really see anything. They, no, they I had go, to Google it, and yeah. I was terrified. They Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Chat was like, hey, Dell, go look up Turians on Rule 34. Look up, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't look up naked <laughs> female Turians, for the don't love of God. That. So um, what about um, – is there anything else we could talk about the game? There was some outside controversy about, you know, the, there not being a white character in, in your customers. I think that was blown a little out of proportion. Uh, there was a preset. You had to do a specific preset. Then you can get a white character instead of it just no. being do your shade. And so I think they fucked up on character creation. Oh, yeah. They really did because – no matter what you do, your character kind of looks ugly. I mean, it it's just doesn't happen. look good. And in fact, this thing is better at making really ugly characters <laughs> and, and outlandish characters better than any other Mass Effect. But it's like, why? Why are you doing this? They, the, uh, the, the facial hair, the beards are disgusting. They're awful. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is are. Mass Effect 1 levels of bad. Probably worse than they're that. Worse. They're it, worse. They're worse. They're actually I worse. I was so shocked. Like, wh what team was in Every charge of the character creator. Every beard that you have just makes it look like you have pubes on your face. 
I'm it's sorry, like, you don't get to see like Ryder, uh, Ryder, Ryder I, I, just, I, I try to You know, the, the funniest shit, default Ryder looks like he just hit puberty and he's got like yeah. pubes all over It looks like face. Team America when they use a disguise, his yeah. patches. Yeah. It's almost <laughs> as if they purposefully made some of the characters ugly. I oh, don't yeah. know why. Because I was, I was showing this off to people that the, the male Ryder is all this like super hot dude and then yeah. his, his model is almost exactly like him. And then they show this super hot chick who's supposed to be Sarah Ryder, and then in the game, like they they completely stretched Ruined her it. face out, smashed her nose, made her eyes too big for her yep. head. Just it's like, what happened so here? They she told her to move. They told she kept moving. She <laughs> fell down the ugly tree. <laughs> hit every, hit branch. every branch, every single or branch. They were they were scanning her, and she was she was texting or <laughs> moving. That's her what you get. I now you look ugly. That's on you. So <laughs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. We, we have to also mention that they missed a huge opportunity. You could have had, with the fact that every race has Pathfinders, you could have played as another race. Yes. And they would have very yeah That could have brought that something in. unique. I wanted to Krogan. play. I love as the Kro- <laughs> Krogan. Yeah, exactly. We love Krogan. Krogans. We want to play as a Krogan or even Turians. I oh, want yeah, to be the new yeah. Garrus. I want to be my own Garrus. Since he's one of my favorite characters, I want to be Garrus. And I want to customize with those different armors. It went going that extra mile, and that's not what they did here. It, you could tell that because it's the multiplayer is literally copy and paste multiplayer oh. horde mode from last time. Apparently, an incredible amount of people played horde oh, mode yeah, last did. time. I don't understand you people. You're you're <laughs> ruining this game because they're like, oh, that's what you want. Here's some more of that well, shit. We're not gonna give you co-op throughout the galaxy. We're not gonna let you play with friends. We're not even gonna give you competitive multiplayer and and try to balance that or just say fuck it go go crazy with it no we're gonna give you horde mode again only this time we're gonna put in even more microtransactions and split it up into bronze silver and gold like that is the most lazy mundane shit when you don't when you don't do real multiplayer when you don't add space battles when you don't add playing as any race that you want to be and when you fuck up on the writing that's how you get to a final verdict in my opinion I'm issuing a final verdict for Mass Effect Andromeda a six out of ten that's what it is it's slightly above average you cannot say that this is a bad game because it's not it's entertaining you can have fun in it there are certain badass missions but there are certain parts you're going to be tr- you know forcing yourself through or you're just going to be like oh my god did he really just say that you know <laughs> yes. that yep. kind of stuff what, what would you put it at though i gave it a like after as much as i played yeah you, you did everything i did everything mm-hmm. that wasn't a task Mm-hmm. And with the content that I got and the hidden things, there's a lot of tie-ins to the original game. With the I ended missions. up at a seven, especially mm-hmm. since I played on Insanity, yeah. I and that is how that game is meant to be played. Right, I feel, right. Is on I didn't play on Insanity, difficulty. and I didn't do some of the, yep. the some of the side missions because I, honestly, I was not encouraged by what I saw in the main mission, and yep. the side missions I did do were less than ideal. And so I can I can totally see somebody giving it a seven. It's, I can't. It's worth if you are a mega fan. <laughs> like, if you are Mass Effect all over your walls and you love this universe and you buy stuff like this that I just bought because this is badass, uh, then I can maybe see you giving it an 8. No. Just being so jaded as a no. fan. No way. I know, but what I'm saying okay, is that's yeah. the top of the thing, and if and if anybody ever says 9 or 10, you're fucking full of shit and you yeah, have no, no idea what you're talking about because 8 is even pushing it. You know, <laughs> I can see 7. That's what I think yeah. is reasonable, but really it's a fucking it 6 it's because you are Mass Effect 4, okay? You're the fourth title. You're charging the 60 bucks up front. You're putting in microtransactions with your copy-paste multiplayer, and you didn't put any goddamn effort into the writing, the story, or any of the extras or additions on there. Now, but here's what I will admit. We have an amazing foundation. Oh, yeah, especially with a lot Mass of Mass Effect 5, or whatever they're going to call it, Andromeda 2 is has the potential to be... I'm sorry. This could be... Yep. Remember how Bioware fucked up Mass Effect 3's ending and I had oh, to make yeah. several videos on that? This could be Mass uh, the next sorry. Like, okay, boom. Mass Effect Andromeda 2. We added this. We added this. We made the story way more interesting and here comes the epic battles just like Mass Effect 2. So it's, it's worth mentioning that even though you're disappointed with the main story in this game, 
when you're getting towards the end, the amount of potential they open up towards. Yes, with the like potential what they, is They amazing. talk about the rest of the galaxy, and I can't go into it without spoilers, but you get really excited. Yeah. Especially since it seems like they chose, you know, one of the worst endings or worser endings of Mass Effect 3, so you're really curious as to what they're going to be able to do with it as canon. Yeah. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Again, sorry the way this one worked out. Maybe, uh, no, because I canceled that order. I, I'm not going to spend, a, you know, more than $1,000 on this costume if we can't even, you know, do this within the next two months. Because I could put out the Mass Effect, you know, full review with this costume, but uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah. We just get bamboozled twice already. Twice in a row. So I think what we'll do is we'll just have to cut back and maybe not, not do so many silly costumes and special effects or well, something. Or we should get the crappy ones. Or at least <laughs> buy them way ahead of time. Yeah. Well, we did! That's the thing. We bought the Power Rangers one three months ahead of time. It didn't come in time. We did this one a month and a half ahead of time. It didn't come in time. So I think it's just bad luck. Yep. Bad luck. Okay? So hopefully moving forward we'll be all right. Well, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. <laughs>